My name is Amanda Boston, and I'm one of the embryologists here at Carolina Conceptions and today I'm going to go through a general overview of what embryology is and what actually goes on when your embryos are with us while you're going through the IVF protocol. So basically what embryology is, it's the development of the embryo from fertilization until implantation occurs. Embryology actually starts in the andrology lab, meaning the sperm lab, and a lot of people tend to forget this. When you start out your IVF process on the day of retrieval, we receive and process your sperm specimens and they can be either fresh or frozen, it makes no difference at all. And we process the sperm down so that we get basically the best sperm possible to use to fertilize your eggs. When we process it, we get those sperm that are moving the best and look the best and utilize those in your IVF process. So from there we move into the embryology lab and everything is going to occur from here on out in the doors of the embryology lab. The first thing that's going to occur, then we're going to call this day zero of your cycle, is going to be your egg retrieval. You're going to be under anesthesia and the doctor is going to come in and they're going to aspirate all those follicles that we've been monitoring all along throughout your cycle. They're going to be aspirated and they're going to give the embryologist some fluid from those follicles and we're going to identify your eggs and let the physician and you know how many eggs we've gotten. We're going to identify those eggs and they're going to go into a media called fertilization media that's going to provide your eggs with everything they need to continue to grow and mature and they're going to go into the incubator that's controlled to give them what just like we're trying to mimic your uterus. After a couple hours in the incubator, we're going to remove these cells called the cumulus cells that are surrounding your egg. That's going to allow us to assess the maturity of your egg and we keep only those mature eggs because those are the only ones that are going to be capable of undergoing fertilization. We're only going to remove those cells if you're going to use ICSI called Enterocytoplasmic Sperm Injection and that's where we inject one single sperm into your egg. If we're not going to do ICSI, we don't remove those cumulus cells and we're going to leave those because if you're doing conventional insemination, those cells are required for the sperm to be able to bind to your egg and for fertilization to occur. If we're going to do conventional insemination, we basically just add that processed sperm in with your eggs and incubate them overnight and allow fertilization to occur naturally. So if we're going to do ICSI, we wait at least an hour after those cumulus cells are removed and we go through and we select a single sperm. We look for the ones that are moving the best and then we look for the ones that have the best morphology, meaning they look the best, and inject them into the mature egg. After the end of day zero, we let the eggs incubate in that fertilization media overnight and 16 to 20 hours later, we check for fertilization. What we're looking for at this point is two pronuclei. That means we've got one contributed from the mother and one contributed from the father. Anything else can, is considered abnormal fertilization at this point and would not be kept in culture. So your embryos are basically living in drops of culture media that's overlaid with oil to help maintain everything maintain the pH and maintain temperature. Next we're going to move on to day two of development. Here at Carolina Conceptions we don't actually assess our embryos on day two but they should be approximately four cells. So the next time we actually look at your embryos is going to be on day three and we do assess them and they should be eight cells. When they could be anything between six and ten cells but eight cells is the ideal. We do either day three or day five transfers here at Carolina Conceptions. Um, how we determine if we're going to do a day three or a day five transfer is we would like to have at least five embryos that are appropriate in cell number for day three to determine that we want to push you to do a day five transfer. So the next stage of development is we're going to move on to day four where again we actually do not assess development on day four but at this point your embryo should be at the compact morula stage. So then we move on to day five which is where we assess the embryos again because this is a, the other possible day for embryo transfer and the embryo at this point is a blastocyst. We're going to see two distinct cell types. We're going to see the inner cell mass which eventually becomes the baby and then we're going to see the outer cells called the drafectoderm which eventually forms the placenta and everything associated with this. The other thing we can possibly do besides transfer on day five is cryopreserve or freeze your embryos. So once we've gone through day five, we can still carry your embryos out and support them in culture through day six. This is the last day that we can really support the embryos in the laboratory. So we can also continue to freeze your embryos on day six. At this point, we'll call and let you know the outcome of all of your embryos, let you know how many we were able to freeze, if we were able to freeze any at all, and see if you have any questions about what's gone on while your embryos were in culture.
So just a quick summary, day zero is your egg retrieval. We also do your sperm processing and any kind of whatever fertilization we're doing, either conventional insemination or ICSI. Day one, we do your fertilization check. Day two, we don't do any embryo assessment, but your embryo should be approximately four cells. Day three is potential transfer date, where your, embryo sh your goal for your embryos is to be eight cells. Day four, again, there's no embryo assessment, but they should be a compact morula. Day five is your other potential transfer day. We're looking for blastocyst stage embryos. Again, we can also cryopreserve embryos on day five. And finally, day six is the final day of culture for your embryos and also another day for cryopreservation.